At Tampa International today, they've seen twice as many flights as they normally do coming from the Charlotte area. And of course, all of that is ahead of Hurricane Florence. And we caught up with some of those folks today flying in from North Carolina. To get in Dick there. Burton's wife Two traveled three. to Charlotte and scrambled to get back home ahead of Hurricane Florence. We were a little nervous about it, yeah, because she didn't know whether to go. Florence changed Greg Folsom's plans, too. And so we just decided to leave early instead of later tonight. He and his colleague were attending two conferences, one in Richmond, the other in Charlotte. We were flying out of Richmond. We flew into Charlotte earlier this week for business, sent to Richmond, and had to cut our conference short because we were going to fly from Richmond back. We are going to connect back through Charlotte to come back here to Tampa. And this is not his first time running away from a storm. Last year, same conference, same problem. Except then, Greg was running to North Carolina away from Irma, which was headed towards the Bay Area. We have, I have a young family, so my wife and I, we got up that Saturday before. It was supposed to, because Irma was um, kind of moved its track last minute. So we just got in our car and, and then went, that's when we went to North Carolina to get out of there. Tampa International preparing as well. Last year they moved all planes away from Tampa Bay to get them out of harm's way. Today, the opposite. Planes are being moved to Tampa. You don't want to have aircraft in an area where a hurricane's going to hit. And if you're flying out of Tampa International Airport in the next couple of days, you certainly want to check with your airline to make sure that your flight is not canceled or delayed. Although you may not be flying to Charlotte or in that area, most likely your flight could be impacted by Hurricane Florence. At Tampa International, I'm Rod Carter, News Channel 8.